<laughs> we got a lot of fun going on here today. We've got some uh, technical difficulties. For some reason, the the Don't video... Don't try to blame it on me. Well, I guess there was a problem here. That even the camera didn't believe that you were going to be sitting in a chair today or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, we got a, got some some weird stuff going on. Uh, yes, I know. We uh, got some craziness. Can't get the, the cameras to work properly. We got the, hopefully the micro, the microphone seems to be working correct, but I'm not, I'm getting a picture of me, Lisa, and not you. I don't know why. Nobody wants to see me. Well, your camera's on you. Well, I know, but it's not picking up the right camera feed. That's the problem. Oh, if I can get the right camera heavens. feed, oh, we'd be in much better shape. Do I but have to start my own Facebook Live over here? I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna. Fig I'm gonna figure this out. This is when it gets to be really fun when you do an opening monologue, and you're trying to deal with technical difficulties all at the same time. Well, I can take over your show. Okay, go ahead. Where's your script? I don't have a script. I don't do a script. You Good know morning, me everybody. It's Lisa Dunn at Lisa Dunn Radio here. Uh, Ron Siegel is trying to engineer this program, but it's not working out so hot. But we've got we've got good information for you today, right, Ron? We've got great information. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. And I will say, before we get into our intriguing content today, please uh, welcome our featured guest. Ron Siegel, because it's the Lisa Dunn <laughs> it, Show. It's the Lisa Dunn Show today. There we go. <laughs> Lisa Dunn is in the house. We always know that... Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. When Lisa is in the house, we've got to really watch out what's going on. Uh, especially now, because, uh, well, I'll just... There's, whenever Lisa's here... Surprise! 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 There are surprises in the works, so we're going to figure out what surprises Lisa has for you today. Let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you, and you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, or ronsingleradio.com. That's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators down Standing by, I am it. Quiet, numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. Well, I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money. I personally work with you, even if you don't have any needs today. Save this number on your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. We are celebrating today. We celebrate every day on Ron Siegel Radio. I looked at the celebrations today, and the wonderful Miss Christy is not at her desk, so she's not going to help me out with what we're going to celebrate. National Retro Day? Uh, national, national Retro what? I don't know, it just says retro. I should have uh, wore, wore that green hippie top. Well, anything I say can and will be used against me, so I'll say nothing. <laughs> national Polar Bear Day today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, national Strawberry Day? I don't eat fruit. Wait. Way too healthy for me. Okay. Yeah, Girl Scout cookies. We can go with Girl Scout cookies. We'll talk about those, Vanna, in just a minute. I don't know why but I'm holding them up to the camera because camera's not doing anything. I know, exactly. Oh, well. But Sorry, we guys. are looking at... Uh... Yep, National Kahlua Day. And whenever the cameras are not working properly, yeah, I think that uh, some sort of a, an adult beverage would be the way to go for the day. So we're... Gonna look at that one <laughs> at some <laughs> some point in time because I'm trying, still trying as I speak here. Does Bevmo deliver? Maybe, maybe, Ooh. maybe they do. I <laughs> actually I might need that. It might be that uh, we might be over at Reunion Kitchen and drink just a little bit earlier. Yeah, we than, can just move the show on the break. We can move the show. We'll go over to Reunion Kitchen and drink, <laughs> and we'll we'll uh, have some sort of a beverage. I'm sure Scott will put something on. For us over there, uh, moving right along. Let's see what else we've got in the news. Uh, we're looking at the markets today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's been a whipsaw today, and that's it's fascinating to me because you have to really search to find out what's going on in the market. Because I looked just quickly on the way into the studio this morning, and I watch a lot of news before as I'm getting ready for the programs. But today I was watching, and it was very fascinating to me because the only thing you could watch on the news was a convicted liar. 
Figure that one out. Why would they, that, the, all of the news channels, all they want to do is they want to put on Michael Cohn and they act as if he knows what he's doing. That was really fascinating to me to watch Debbie Wasserman Schultz questioning Michael Cohn. That was fascinating. I, I found that just unbelievable because Debbie Wasserman Schultz was the victim of some of the items that, Mike, uh, that uh, Cohn was doing when she was running the DNC, or I guess uh, hijacking the DNC, whatever you want to call it. But I found that fascinating. You know, you listen to the, one of the couple of the biggest stories in America right now, biggest stories in America, you'd have to say without question would be the trade talks going on with China. And the President of the United States of America, he is over having a summit with a nuclear power, yet that doesn't get coverage and the liar does get coverage. Neither one of those other issues are getting covered. But the liar gets coverage. And he's, con you know, it's not me just saying that he's a liar, he's convicted, he's, he's pleaded guilty already, so it's not like it's a question mark. But that's where the coverage is. You don't know that the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 85 points. You don't know that it took a big drop based on some of the comments that so it's not, our, it's our trade ambassador, that's Lighthizer, made. Those are all issues that were going on. Fascinating to me that you're not hearing that. Oil up $1.78. You wouldn't know that either. You wouldn't know that Pakistan shot down a couple of India's airplanes this morning. They captured the pilots and they've closed off their airspace. You don't know that because the media wants you to be listening to this liar on all the news stations in California. That's just probably, maybe it tells you more about California than it does what's going on in the world. It just fascinates me. I also find it fascinating that it used to be when a president of the United States went overseas you know, basically, they stopped all of the harassment domestically. Yeah, not in this uh, in this day and age. We just focus on harassing the president of the United States nonstop, twenty four seven. Even though we found out that there's nothing to it, just fascinating. So the Trump Kim summit that is going on. The the Democrats decided that killing Americans is not a problem. They found that out. They voted. They actually voted on that yesterday. Did you see that vote? It was plain and simple that it's not like it's a partisan issue. It was a straight up vote. So what they did was they voted on the fact that if a baby is born, I, I last I heard. If a baby is born in the United States of America, the baby is an American citizen. Yet the Democrats voted saying, you know something, even though it is American citizen, we can still kill it, right? We, we don't have, if, if the mother tried to have an abortion and the doctor failed at his duties, got to figure that one out, that the baby can be aborted still. I got to love that. I mean... If you can abort a baby after the mother has already, after the baby's born. But that was the vote yesterday in the, in the United States Senate. So we know where people stand on that issue. And there's no issue at the border. There's no border wall problem. That one we know as well. That's not a problem going on. The drugs coming over, the human trafficking, unless your name is, unless you are the owner of the New England Patriots, you know, then, then it's a problem with the trafficking. Other than that, then there's no problem. You gotta love that one as well. Ah, fascinating the things that we have in our news story, in our news cycle. You gotta just really love what's going on. Uh, again, I'm sorry that you are seeing my mugshot here instead of Lisa's mugshot. Uh, that, it would be, be much better if we had you on the camera instead of me, Lisa. So it's uh, just a fast... Oh, look, there we go. Here comes Lisa. I wasn't supposed to get a chair anyhow, so it's all good. I'll stand here. There we go. So okay, I am actually going to stand here. Do I, need to hold, do I need to hold my microphone? No, I just changed the setting so we can actually hear you as well as, okay. as see you on, in the camera. I'm going to tilt that up. There we go. It's a little bit better, much better that way. So Lisa is in the house. Uh, Mitchell is watching us. Good morning, Mitch, Bernie, Mike. Terry, Lance, glad to see you all with us as well. Let's see what else we have in the news for the today's uh, daily briefing. We'll see where we go with that. 
Uh, so the now Democrats. You can do the show. You, you can do the show. You yeah. can, exactly. Uh, House Democrats voted unanimously to pass legislation Tuesday to block President Trump's emergency declaration at the southern border. There you go. Thirteen Republicans joined Democrats to vote to block the declaration. Sorry, don't have my glasses on. So. That's it. Yeah. So so there is according to those thirteen. Now the the Republicans, yeah, they've they've come out and said that they don't like the idea. No, I don't think anybody likes the idea of the way the president is doing this. But even more, I'm not uh, sure if I like the way we're doing this. <laughs> well, you know something we did that did tease on social media that Lisa was not going to have a chair here today, <laughs> and uh, so now it actually we've actually got that going on. So it, fascinating. It was not the intent. So we've got uh, Michael Cohn's story. We talked about Joe Biden. Looks like he's going. How can Joe Biden get into this this? Uh, this presidential race. That's going to be a fascinating story also uh, because, you know, he's just way too conservative. Think about that, saying Joe Biden is conservative, but he is way too conservative to be on the Democrat ticket right now. That's just a fascinating story as well. Kamala Harris, she is... Now, here's an interesting story from yesterday. I heard this one. I, I just had to love this. Kamala Harris in the news. Now, she's leading... Yeah, the heels up, the pound heels up movement. I think is her hers. What is it, the who what? Pound heels up. You haven't heard the pound heels up movement? No. Nope. Okay, so we know how Kamala Harris got her start in politics, in California politics. Fifty years younger than Willie Brown, they were dating while he was married. So that's where we we know that's how that started. But yesterday she basically came out and said that she she's all for prostitution. Now, <laughs> does that surprise anybody? That she came out and said that. Surprise! 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 But that, there you go. That that was the the commentary from yesterday. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love it, right? I mean, where else can you go to get some of these things, these these news stories, other than listening to Ron Siegel Radio, which you are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, more fun here. We're gonna continue with. I don't know what we're going to continue with. Uh, we're going to just, we'll let Lisa figure that out. She's hosting the show today, so it can be, I get a day off. Uh, we'll talk about interest rates. They hit a new 12-month low. Debt settlement companies, what they don't tell you. Five things to know about mortgage loans and bad credit. Uh, all that and more. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. On Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. I think they were lucky but the today. <laughs> Exactly. The replay is available on Ron Siegel Radio. Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investment? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com.
Siegelending.com. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions like finding a chair, getting the cameras working, as well as... (laughs) <laughs> you gotta like this, though. You, you gotta like that, okay? Well, yeah, because now I can do your job. So at least somebody can. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Segal Radio or anytime at eight hundred three zero six one nine nine zero. 800-306-1990. You may be wondering what goes on in the studio while we're not on air. And sometimes we have, especially when Lisa's in the house, mm-hmm. there it, most of it is not allowed to be aired. That's why we have the microphones <laughs> off. But we did. Lisa did pose a very, very fascinating question. And I'm going to throw it out there because I'll just, you know, I repurpose a lot of things here. I'll call it my own. I'm going to borrow it from you, Lisa. Go right ahead. So Just like I'm going to borrow the chair. Borrow the chair. Borrow there you go. The, I got a chair now. <laughs> Lisa's got a chair. If you've watched her on social media, you know that uh, that might be the only thing Lisa has in her office is a chair and a few boxes. <laughs> That's right. We're in transition. New brokerage coming. There, there we go. Okay, so, so here's the question, Mark, and I'm just going to pose this. And, Michael, I know that you had uh, some comments here about or, or some thoughts about uh, Kamala Harris and the pound heels up movement that she is leading. Now we know Kamala Harris has never seen a tax she didn't like. And we were talking about her commentary yesterday. I was talking about her commentary yesterday that she thinks that prostitution should be legalized. Now the question is how is that taxed? Is it based on services provided, quality of service? Uh, I, I just don't know. <laughs> I'll just throw that out there. Uh, just an observation. But let's get into the mortgage minute today. <laughs> that is being brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage, at least for the time being. They might not, after they now, listen after to this. this it could be <laughs> yeah, we might lose a couple of, uh, of, of... But just think of the people will gain. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> So the Mortgage Minute, again, brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star has the programs and the products for you. Let's look and see what the market is doing. Dow Jones Industrial Average down 88 right now. The S&P 500 down 6.18. The U.S. 10-year Treasury, it is up 5 basis points. And the 30-year bond, Fannie Mae bond, that is down 11 basis points, still staying above the 25-day moving average, which is good news. It went down, it touched it, and went right back up Are again. Are you talking about those taxes again? No. The tw- <laughs> Uh, I'm, went down. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> now wait a second. I think I'm, I, I'm fishing for more sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's a good one. There we go. So we did have the 25-day moving average go down, and, and it did. T- uh, the the Fannie Mae bond went down to touch the 25-day moving average. Uh, a lot of fun right there. <laughs> so those are all the the what's of the haps in the market. The question now is the why it's happening in the market. 
So let's uh, let's think about this one. Stocks and bonds, they're both down a bit this morning. Fed Chairman Powell spoke in front of the Senate and explained that the Fed remains Fed remains flexible. Lisa, don't go there. I'm which not means they're a word. <laughs> pausing their rate hikes. He went on to say that the Fed policy will remain data dependent in regards to the Fed's balance sheet. Powell said in the longer run, the size of the balance sheet will be determined by demand for Federal Reserve liabilities such as currency and bank reserves. We did have Mad Maxine Waters. She was uh, questioning the chairman this morning as he moved over to the House of Representatives. Pending home sales, month over month, up 4.6%, year over year, down 2.3%. Now, for those of you that like to watch CNBC and have any faith in Diana Olick when it comes to real estate, you shouldn't. I still say this, the next time she says something accurate, it'll be the first time, so be careful. She did have a bit of a problem uh, saying anything wrong with a 4.6% month over month gain in pending home sales. But she doesn't understand why pending home sales are up 4.6% month over month, yet existing home sales did not look so pretty. Well, the existing home sales number was the December number because of the government shutdown, and it reflected interest rates in October and November. Interest rates in October and November were not pretty. If you follow Ron Siegel Radio, I can tell you that November 21st, the Freddie Mac rate was 4.81%. Now, if you go back and you look at in, in January, we ended January at 4.46%, right? So the people are starting to say, you know something? Interest rates are getting better. I think I might go back out and shop again. Just a thought for you, Ms. Oleg. Look at the data. Instead of reading a monitor, understand it. It might be a little bit more helpful to you. <laughs> Just a thought for you. That is the Mortgage Minute again, brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see if we can have some fun with Lisa Dunn in the house today. We were talking. I know you yeah, had some. Are we already? <laughs> I know you had some comments online, and when uh, we first uh, set the date for you to join us, you had some commentary about what's going on in the marketplace. And I love the comment that I saw you make out there was, you know, some of the numbers that we see here and the numbers that I just shared, those are national numbers. That doesn't mean that that's what's happening in, name a street in your area. Well, I mean, all economics is really local now, isn't it? Well, if we look at the local, in, in, not loco, local interest rates, I mean, the interest rates are, are national. They're not yeah, really a whole. They, yeah, they're they're national. Right. So, so. But how, well, we Ron, us. we can't let you have anything nice, can we? Well, we've got all kinds of fun going on today. Oh yeah. my heavens! Uh, do I need to take the, over the show again? Okay, I will. I'll go okay. ahead and take over the show. Oh, now you're back. Welcome to the Lisa Dunn Show. Darn it! He keeps coming back, right? When I think most I people, hijack this. you know, something most people <laughs> say that. Darn it! He's back. <laughs> I hear that all the time. It's one of the more common things that I hear. Well, what I mean, what goes on in a neighborhood is going to vary a little bit from neighborhood to neighborhood. And we were we were talking about how you have a lot of macro numbers out there. A lot of your national economists are. Um, what God? Now you're getting me all dizzy over there. Um, Anyhow, so what was I saying? So you have the macroeconomists that can massage data to, you know, pretty much make it look like what it say is. Say whatever they wanted to say. Yeah, exactly. Um, but knowing what's going on in your neck of the woods, knowing what's happening in your neighborhood, if you're thinking about putting your house on the market or if you're thinking about buying, it's more important to know exactly what's going on in your area versus, well, I've heard nationally that, you know, prices are dropping or I've heard that inventory is dropping or uh, more to John Lansner's point, my uh, friend John Lansner, who said, how did I enter this chat earlier today? But he put up um, a really interesting article a while back that, you know, everybody hears, you know, nationally that Oh, you know, we have inventory shortages and, oh, you know, the... So we don't? Well, it just really depends where you are and okay. when it is. Um, you know, numerous people out there in Facebook and Instagram uh, land will, you know, mention, you know, that uh, what the, um, shall we say, the biased folks 
unfortunately, I'm a member of these biased folks organizations, namely California Association of Realtors and National Association of Realtors. Um, but they always tend to skew everything to make it sound like we don't have enough housing. That's why you know we're in the situation that we're in and everything. And that's really a nationally a loaded statement. And when you're looking at pure data, yeah, it can appear that way. But right now, in the neighborhoods that I track, I'm seeing twice the inventory this year that I did the same time last year. Well, nationally, the numbers, well, actually, in, in the Anaheim, Santa Ana, Irvine metropolitan area, which, which I just not pulled quite up. national numbers. That's not national numbers. We're up 24% year over year. And that was for the end of the year, correct? Right, end of the year, 9,232 homes for sale. And from what I look at, I track um, the numbers daily from uh, the area that I do the bulk of my work. However, I do work all over Southern California. Um, but I keep an eye on Rancho Santa Margarita. That is the, the area that I've been working in. So we say Lisa SoCal wide. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, though, but that's my basis. That that's That's my grounding point that I know like the back of my hand. And I'm seeing that just since the beginning of February, our inventory is up 26%. So, you know, we're not an anomaly. This is happening within Orange County. And, you know, maybe people have been hearing perhaps the wrong message because just like you said uh, earlier, the data that you were talking about, um, uh, just for the Orange County numbers, this is all the end of the year. We're already head, getting ready to head into our third month, and the and the data is just now playing catch up. Well, we have this government shutdown, so that's gonna, that's a big issue of it. Is mm -hmm. why the you know a well, lot even of the data on the is best behind. Of days, you know, we usually see a lag of numbers. You know, usually a good thirty day lag. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, hundred percent. But that's not necessarily reflective of what's happening in your neighborhood as of today. Which is fascinating because we're looking, and I, I, ironically enough, so you were referencing um, John Lansner earlier, and I, I don't, uh, I'm not a big fan of the, the Orange County Register since they went so biased, but... But you know, he's my friend. Hi, John. But, but ironically saying. enough, here he's, he's looking at date, some of the data that now they've blurred it out because I don't pay for this thing. I get a subscription, but they don't give me the information. You have to sign up, Rod. I, well, I have a subscription <laughs> to the paper. It gets delivered every morning. So. Well, one of the things that he mentioned, though. But he's looking at 2016, 2017 data. 2017 to two others. One that's 2017 and 18. He compared the some number from 2007 to 2017. John, I'm coming to your defense. What he said that I thought was very intriguing is we talk on a national level about, you know, affordability being out of reach, not enough homes to buy. At what point is this weighing on the minds of the home buyers when actually in, in many local markets, such as what we're seeing here, we're, we're seeing the inventory levels go up. We're seeing interest rates go down that a lot of people don't know about. That they, you know, If you listen to Ron, you know, but... Uh, a lot of people have no idea that the interest rates have dropped well into the fours, that you can get a VA or an FHA loan at a 4% interest rate right now. They're still hearing the, the rates went up, you know, they're a few months behind. And really, the affordability factor has dropped since last spring. We have seen a big drop in the market. The people that bought in April and May of 2018, I hate to tell you this, if you did, you kind of got hosed because it was the end of the big inventory shortage. Okay, so the question then becomes, and we're going to talk about this when we come back, we're still showing a 4.29% annual appreciation as of the end of the year. That doesn't mean your property went up 4.29% last month, so you can't resell it for that. But you may have a good opportunity, even though Lisa says you got hosed. So I'm going to challenge her. Hey, go, buyers. Go. It's time. I'm going <laughs> to challenge her when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. Interest rates hit a 12-month low. Here, uh, yeah, some information on debt settlement that nobody wants to talk about. With all that and more, you can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter at ronsegal. Stay tuned. We will be back in just a few.
local lending team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home you're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area-trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio, text... Nest, N-E-S-T, to 79564. Find your dream home before someone else does. According to Freddie Mac's primary mortgage market survey, interest rates for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage are currently at their lowest for 2019. Rates like these haven't been seen since February 2018. Talk about old data. Last week's survey results reported an interest rate of 4.35%. This is a welcome change from the near 5.0% rate seen in mid-November at 4.32. The second week of February 2018 was the last time rates were this low. I shared a chart of this earlier on social media channels, so make sure you check that out. Freddie Mac's chief economist, Sam Cotter, had this to say, I quote, Mortgage rates fell for the third consecutive week, continuing the general downward trend that began late last year. Wages are growing on par with home prices for the first time in years. And with more inventory available, spring home sales should help the market begin to recover from the malaise of the last few years, unquote. The bottom line, if you are planning on buying a home this spring, let's chat about that. Let's get prepared 
to buy. Let's make sure that you have everything in order. That means getting that fast pass loan approval from our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage, getting your budget in place. Remember, that is totally free. It's the Legacy Planner from Ron Siegel Radio. Text RSR Budget to 79564. Get a hold of that. Again, totally free. RSR Budget to 79564. Or you can just go to mbelinks.com forward slash budget. So those are just a few of the tools. That's the real-time real estate segment. Again, being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564. Again, find that dream home before someone else does. Before the break, I told you I was going to challenge Lisa Dunn on... No, not on basketball, because we know Lisa's basketball prowess. Or the use of a chair. <laughs> There's no way pushed, I'm going to... I should have just pushed you out of yours. After today's broadcast and some of our prior topics, I am not going to talk to you about the chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that can be serious trouble. So Everything's be, serious trouble around here. But man. you were but, talking about June buyers uh, maybe not have being as as uh, efficient or prudent. I think you used the term hosed, which I don't want to talk about that when we've had Kamala Harris yeah, on the show. <laughs> okay, well, so. How do you get taxed? Uh, well, anyway. So here's the question I'm going to throw at you because let's just go with the hypotheticals here. And we, mm-hmm. we know certain parts of them are going to be factual. So June interest rates were probably right around. Bring it back to April. These would have been. These would have been. Well, I don't have April on my sheet here, but I do know that April, uh, January two thousand. Well, I've got November two thousand seventeen. Uh, January two thousand eighteen interest rates were three point nine five. Jan- I'm sorry, January. January two thousand eighteen four oh four. I'm gonna challenge that the fact that the interest rates had nothing to do with it. Um, that what people were buying doesn't have anything yeah, to do with? I think what it was, was it was perception of increased values, lack of inventory on the market on a local level. I know a lot of people on the national level were saying the inventory numbers were up. Nope, they were not in the areas that, in this area, in Orange County, our inventory levels were super low. In fact, they are... They were less than half of what we have today. And it, the, it stuck with that. The market you know, was a very good market in 2017, and we rolled into 2018 at very low numbers. People knew that interest rates were going to start going up, so they're like, okay, well, I need to buy, and the sellers are hearing that things are appreciating like crazy, so they're going up and up and up and up. But we had interest rates going up. We had um, prices going up, and that can't sustain. There's going to be a certain point where people cannot afford to buy these houses if the rates are increasing, which they were at the time, and the prices were increasing because of the lack of inventory. So, so are prices still did price have prices increased from that time period, or have they stayed the same, or have they decreased? They were like on you know, and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they were kind of like on a roll, you know, looking at possibly like 10% you know appreciation annually if things continued on that way as it did in April and May of 2018. However, you mentioned now that the appreciation rate I think was a little over 4% annually for 4. 2018. 4.29 for the, for the year. We just had everything come to a grinding halt come people buying and opening escrow in the month of May of 2018, and then it just cooled. And for example, so wait, let's 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 stay right there for one second. So because because this is what this is the point that I I, I like to make all the time on the broadcast. It prices went up 4.29 percent for the year. So let's say that somebody cap bought in March or April and they only got three quarters of that. And I'm a simple guy, so I'm not going to go do the math. I'm just going to say three quarters of that is three percent. Okay, so prices went up 3%. If what, and we know that uh, nationally, the average down payment is 6%. Again, I'm not going to do the math. I'm going to say 10%. Right? So that means somebody has got a 30% return on their cash invested. So you've still got a good investment mm-hmm. there. Yeah. But and was, because you got in the game. Yeah. And it was overheated at the time and then when it slowed it slowed and it slowed big time it was kind of like you know all of the sellers got into the market at the same time the inventories uh, levels increased 
the buyers naturally slow down that time of year because we have a very tight um, what we'd call heat months for real, real strong activity in, in real estate. Yeah, and because Southern our weather California. is so so fickle here in California, right? Well, you know, a lot of places around the country, they say you got to buy in the summer, you got to buy in the summer. Well, here it's the spring because everybody wants to move into their house when the school year is over. And we've even seen a shift on that little window tightening because school most of the public schools would end towards mid to late June. Well then there's been a shift for everybody kind of getting on the same calendar and now they're starting to get out of school end of May beginning of June. So that window that we used to see the buyers come out they usually start to come out in March usually and then April's like the hottest month. May you I think August is usually a little hotter. Just oh, you're so literal. <laughs> um, you know, but April's April's like the the big month. If things right. are going to happen in real estate, it's usually in April. Sure. And then May, sure. you never quite know when it's going to end. You know, maybe it's going to slow down at Mother's Day, maybe Memorial Day. If you're on a good year, it's going to slow down Father's Day. 2017, we didn't slow down. We had two slow weeks in July. Um, so it was an interesting thing to see the momentum finally just come to a grinding halt. But that is very seasonal. So. What I saw personally is the story of two houses on the same street. We're going to get back to that, but I want to throw one thing out there just to close out what we're right, on this. You throw things at me, Ron. Not at you. I'm throwing it out there. <laughs> so here's the issue that I do want to make a comment on because interest rates are very, very uh, lo uh, much lower than they were this back at the beginning of the year. This is a good time to buy right now. And if you're not ready to move, and if you did buy in, in summer, spring last year, this is a good time to be looking and seeing, can you refinance? Mm. Maybe you can get rid of that mortgage insurance. Maybe you don't have enough equity, but you, at least you can do an interest rate reduction loan. It doesn't cost a whole lot if you used an FHA loan. So we'll talk more about those when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. I might even share with you some things that people don't want to tell you about debt settlement, all that and more. You can reach me anytime. Off air number 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. You were lucky today. <laughs> but the replay is available, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We will be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Most businesses struggle to get the online reviews they need to get a competitive edge over their competition. Rex is a brand new technology that uses text messages to direct happy clients to your online review sites, Zillow, Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and unhappy clients to a private survey so businesses can win more customers. Try Rex today by going to www.meetrex.com. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. 
Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 217037 and 145530 and CalBRE 01869452 and one 866 You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. (laughs) Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. We're a little distracted. (laughs) That's my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio anytime at 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report and it is wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has these solutions for you. Debt settlement companies, what they don't want you to know. Here's a real simple one. Avoid them. Right? If you're in debt up to your eyeballs, you might have seen the ads late at night. They're usually on about 1 or 2 in the morning. Yes, I'm over 55. There is a reason I am up at 1 or 2 in the morning. So you got to be careful of those things. They basically they want you to pay an upfront fee to the debt settlement company plus a monthly retainer. Their strategy strategy is That's to get you, you to exactly to get you to stop <laughs> paying on your bills, make the credit card companies so desperate that they'll settle with you. The reality, however, is that you just wind up damaging your credit even more. How bad does it get damaged? Well, according to myfico.com, Here's some numbers. If you had a 680 FICO score, max out your credit cards, they go to 650, 670. A single 30-day late payment brings you down to 600 to 620. After settling a credit card debt, 615, 635. Post-bankruptcy filing, 530 to 550. See what happens when you're doing that? I would rather see you go to the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, nfcc.org. They can advise you about budgeting, which will help you with one in three people, they say. Beyond simple budgeting, there are other techniques. Give me a call at 800-306-1990. Be happy to share those with you. That is the Your Credit Matters segment, again, brought to you by creditsanitizer.com. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Cindy Moises. Good to see you, Larry. Glad to see you there as well. Lisa was going to tell us a story. Story time with Lisa. Story time with Lisa. I'm going to tell you a story. Properties of two houses on the same street. The story of two houses on the same street that were for sale in 2018. (laughs) Now, children, gather around. What happened was there was two homes in uh, the Melinda Heights area of Rancho Santa Margarita, and they're both the same model home. One was on one side of the street, one was on the other side of the street. One was kind of highly upgraded, back to Greenbelt. The other one, not quite as nicely upgraded, but very nice and had a view. Pretty much, they were the same. Both of them were on the market for 865. The one that was a little nicer, Ron, quit playing with things while I'm talking. <laughs> <You know>. Oh, <Uh-oh. laughs> uh, back to the tax. <laughs> Anyhow, so you don't understand that one. You might have to go back and pick up the show from the beginning. Yeah, you might have to. Um, so the one that was back in the green belt that was a little bit nicer had multiple offers on it and got bid up to eight seventy five. So it opened escrow at eight seventy five. The other house that was listed at 865 had multiple offers on it. I was representing one of those clients and they accepted the other agent's offer for a very strange reason, but we won't get into that. Their mistake. Um, so it sold for eight, 865, which is probably about right, maybe about a $10,000 difference on the um, upgrades of the homes. So 
couple of weeks go by, the one with the view that's in escrow for 865 falls out of escrow. We're now well into the month of May. They cut the price. They cut the price again. They cut the price again. They're down to 820 wow. before this house sells. It was in escrow at 865. All the more reason that you need to have that fast pass loan approval well, be totally underwritten ahead of time. Yeah, I mean that that seller lost quite a bit of money because the buyer couldn't perform and the timing of the market was such that everything came to a screeching halt. It ended up selling for, I want to say, I think 814 or 819, one of those two numbers, but the other one right across the street closed a little more than 30 days before at 875. How do you think those people are feeling that paid 875 for that house because they were caught up in the frenzy. They were caught up in the fact that there wasn't any inventory. You better buy now because the rates are going up and you know there's nothing on the market. Boy, have things changed in one year. Right. So what's the moral of the story? I mean, I know the moral, on one side of it, you'd say, okay, you need to have a great real estate agent helping you to make sure you pick the right house. But by not having picked the right house, which is the right number? Is it really an 875 market or is it really an 815 market? Well, at the time, it was an 875 market. 30 days later, it was an 815 market. That's how fast things can change. And that's what people need to be aware of. Right now, we've got really good interest rates. Our interest rates are the same, if not maybe a little lower than where those were a year ago during this frenzy but everybody was hearing see and I think the thing to the takeaway is what you're hearing on the media is old news it's it's two to three months late you know that we it almost has to be because I mean we talk about one of the one of the most well cited sources is the case Schiller index exactly right case Schiller always reports and their, their numbers are always using a three-month average of data and it is the data from three months ago. So if we look, if they give us a report today, which is the end of February, uh, that would be August, September, October's data, right? Yep, Something but like I'm, I'm gonna give you better sources. Okay. Two, two better sources. Um, and I'm gonna give Stephen Thomas reports on housing a plug right now. Uh, if you're a real estate professional in the Orange County area, or you know a real estate professional in the Orange County area, then you can get information that is only perhaps two weeks old, top end. He, he does a twice a month report on what is actually going on based on MLS data in the Orange County area. And that's gonna carry out to you know your San Diego, your uh, Inland Empire, LA markets as well. Because we're all kind of in the same boat to a certain extent, our trends Very are similar, the sure. same. So he is an excellent source of immediate fresh data. And if you have a good real estate agent that you're working with, somebody like me who gets up every single morning at 5.30 in the morning running my numbers to tell you exactly what's going on in my area, I can let you know what the trends are before you're going to hear about it two to three months later. You might think it's a good time to sell your house. You might have missed the boat. Or you think that the interest rates have gone up when really they've gone down. And these are the things that you need to know by asking questions and finding somebody that you can trust. And that's the whole thing is because everything in real estate is very, very local, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's, it's not a matter of, because really when you think about it, other than the interest rates, I, I kid Lisa earlier because the interest rates are, are, are pretty much the same all over, right? You're going to, no matter what somebody tells you, your interest rates are going to always be right around within an eighth one way or another with almost everybody, which on most houses, that means maybe $20, 30 $40 a month. It's not a major issue, but it's the only question people know. So that's what they ask most often, because the fact of the interest rate is, is like the people that we've helped in the last year, every one of them are getting an update right now saying, you know what, interest rates are down, maybe you want to take a look at doing that debt consolidation. Maybe you want to take a look at doing a, getting rid of your mortgage insurance or at least re-reviewing it. Or if you're a first time buyer, you may want to say, hey, you know what, the inventory levels are up, these interest rates are low. This right now, right now today, I can confidently say is a great time to buy because you have a wide selection of homes that you can be picking from. You've got sellers that have been sitting on the market 30, 60 days, they're going to be kind of happy to see an offer, an offer that makes sense. Absolutely. So it's a good time to buy. 
Good time to, speaking of a good time to buy, you may be wondering why we've got our Girl Scout cookies sitting right here in front of Lisa this morning. Well, the answer is today is the last day for the Girl Scout cookie drive with Ron Siegel Radio. I know the girls still have cookies, but Ron Siegel Radio, it's our last day of offering Girl Scout cookies. Send us whatever contribution you want, Venmo, PayPal, however you want to get it to us, we'll do any of those. One of the local Girl Scout <laughs> is going to, we're going to buy them from the Girl Scouts, they will make a delivery for us over to a local charity. We're going to go, they're going to go over to the local homeless shelter and give them some cookies. So these four boxes here, they may not make it home today, but the other ones, they'll get over to the shelter, help us out. Our goal, 500 boxes this year. We might be a little bit short unless we get some help from you. And the other thing we ask on a regular basis, set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to John who's en engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime, 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. Ron